Hakeem Robinson, known as Queso, is a Louisiana rapper who is the prime suspect in two pending murder cases. But you won't believe the one person who's trying to have him found guilty, his own dad. Tonight, for the first time, we're seeing an interrogation video which shows a father incriminating his son in a murder investigation. When you watch that video, you could see, could you see what the shooter was wearing? Yes, sir. Could you see how the shooter ran? Yes, sir. How the shooter moved? Yes, sir. Could you also see the firearm that was used? Yes, sir. Right. Now, when you watched that video of the murder of Charles McCormick, did you recognize the shooter? Yes, sir. Who was the shooter in that video? Hakeem Robinson. Your son, Hakeem Robinson. Yes, sir. As you can see, Queso's dad, whose real name is Abdul Robinson, only cares about his own freedom, and it's clear he's ready to throw away his own sons to get it. But what led to him doing something so cold and snitching on his own son? Well, it's because he's also a prime suspect in one of the cases, and he may have just found a way to buy his own freedom at the cost of his own sons. The case involves the passing of Charles McCormick, also known as Lil Buck, who was shot and passed away on January 15, 2020, at an Arlington shopping plaza. A nearby officer has claimed that he actually saw the event go down and watched the shooter standing over Lil Buck before completing the act. The officer then followed the suspects as they fled the scene before crashing their car and breaking into a nearby house where they allegedly strangled a woman and stole her husband's clothes in an attempt to further mask their identities before fleeing on foot. And fast forward seven months, Queso, Queso's brother and his dad were arrested as prime suspects in the involvement of Lil Buck's passing. Queso and his brother being the suspected shooters and his dad being an accessory to the crime, meaning he helped Queso escape. This was Queso's reaction after he got arrested. Can I ask what I'm being down here for? You're gonna be down here, we're doing a homicide investigation and you're down here, part of a homicide investigation that we're conducting. Um, you do have a warrant for your arrest. For we have a warrant for your arrest for murder today. What? Yeah. What the hell? But who is Lil Buck and why would Queso and his dad be involved with his passing? Well, back in 2019, Willie Addison, another son of Queso's dad and the brother of Queso, was shot and passed away after an altercation went down in Spring Park, Jacksonville. Queso's dad was also in the vehicle at the time and he was also shot, however, survived the incident. He even came on the news later to speak on the passing of his son. He wants people to know he's not retaliating for the murder of his son. I want justice for my son. I'm not sending nobody out there. They got quote unquote, I supposed to have hits. Shortly after the event, Lil Buck released a song called Young Show Off, where some of the lyrics were aimed at and made fun of the passing of Willie Addison. And during all of these events, keep in mind that Lil Buck and Queso and his dad are in rival Jacksonville gangs and had an ongoing beef. Lil Buck was allegedly part of a gang known as KTA, and Queso and his dad are members of ATK. Anyway, shortly after the release of Lil Buck's song Dissing Willie, the daylight shooting and passing of Lil Buck went down. So going back to Queso's and his dad's arrest, clearly there were some suspicions that maybe they were out to revenge Willie and had succeeded. Police were able to gather some pretty concrete evidence that Queso was the shooter after his associate to the crime, Dominique Barner, started cooperating with the feds and ratted out both Queso and his dad, where he confirmed in an interview that the reason Queso wanted to take out Lil Buck was because he made a song which talked despairingly about Willie Addison and that Queso was the one who chased Lil Buck down before taking his life. The police also ended up finding the firearm used in the incident, which just happened to have Queso's fingerprints all over it. And Queso definitely didn't help his case, because just days after Lil Buck passed away, he went to Instagram to post a video of himself at a nail salon getting a pedicure with the caption, kill a guy, then go get my toes done. So anyway, after both Queso and his dad have been locked up in the pending case since late 2020, Queso was also found to be a prime suspect in the shooting and passing of 16-year-old Adrian Garner, well known as Bibby, back in February 2019. But who was Bibby? Bibby was actually the younger brother of rapper Julio Fulio, who was a known KTA member and also one of Queso's known ops. And following the passing of Bibby, Queso once again may have hinted his involvement and he was arrested under Marcy's law. The evidence included a Queso Instagram post where he posed wearing an NBA jersey with Bibby on the back. And just to top it off, he released many songs shortly after Bibby's passing, talking about how he smoked Bibby. Very smart, I know. And this is what Queso had to say when he got asked if he knew Bibby. Do you know what that is? No, sir. You don't know who that is? Bibby ring a bell to you? Oh, I 
Want to speak with my lawyer? Want to speak with your lawyer? Yes. Okay. So Keiso was now on trial for not one, but two murder cases. And here's where things really took a dark turn. Because soon after in May 2022, Keiso's dad was transferred to St. John's County Jail, away from both of his sons for his own safety. And it was announced that he was going to be cooperating with the prosecutors and testifying against both of his sons for a shot at his own freedom. And during the whole situation, Keiso's dad is also facing his own separate case involving another murder and could be facing up to 30 years to life if found guilty on top of his accessory charges. And when this became public news, it's no wonder that Queso's dad received a lot of backlash and hate online and people were pretty much disgusted that a father would ever turn against his own two sons for his own freedom. Dad is a huge coward. This whole case is wild. This man failed his kids many times. First of all, he didn't keep them out of the streets. And now this. And here's what Boosie had to say about it. Like, you make these people do their job. You don't bend over and get you make these people do their job. That's why they get hired. You don't do their job for them against your son. Well, and by telling your is not going to get away. They're laughing at you over beer and shots right now. You're making that motherfucker turn on his own seed. He's turning on his own boy. <laughs> then they're going to kill his when he go back there and we let him out. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make him testify and let his out after and give him credit for time served and let Queso boy smoke his two birds and one stone. But why did Queso's dad decide to turn on his own sons? Well, it seems like Queso's dad has his own set of plans for what his future looks like, and that doesn't include spending the rest of his years behind bars. He came to Instagram to speak on the situation, where he said, If it was me and my daddy in a situation like this, I would have been freed my daddy a long time ago, no matter what my consequences would have been, especially if he's a great daddy. He could do more for me out of jail than in jail. Who leaves their daddy in a jail to rot, especially when you know he's innocent? I would have been stood up and said my daddy ain't got an effing thing to do with nothing. You guys and bitches out there in the free world talk that talk out there until it's time to walk that walk, facing that life sentence. And now at the start of 2023, Footage of Queso's dad snitching has released publicly. In the video, his dad blatantly says his son was the shooter in the Lil Buck incident and that the man captured on CCTV from the event is his son. When you watched that video, uh, was there anything about the clothing that also stood out? No, it was the shoes though. And what was familiar about the shoes? No, I had seen um, the gray and white Jones before. On who? On Hakeem. Okay, so you you've seen Hakeem Robinson with shoes that appeared to you to be the same as what the shooter was wearing? Yes, sir. Who was the shooter in that video? Hakeem Robinson. Your son, Hakeem Robinson. Yes, sir. So how does Queso feel about this? Well, obviously not good, but his attorney responded to the situation saying that this is yet another witness that came to them in handcuffs. We're not concerned. The government has repeatedly said how bad of a guy the father is. Now they present him as some pillar of truth. And this whole situation of betrayal is very similar to what Gunnar has done to YSL. And if you want to see what it looks like for the world to turn against you, check out our video here of what rappers think about Gunnar after snitching on his own game. And guys, if you're still here and you enjoyed the video, subscribe because I'm uploading way more content like this every single week.